Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training video and this is 11th video in this series and in this video today I'm going to show you how to create virtual machine clone in vSphere 6.5 so here's my info which we, we are using to give you this demo so the first machine is Wintuka 12 GC01 which is my Active Directory server here we can see my Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine the computer name is Ventuk12, this is the one, and my domain name is victorinfosol.com. And the second machine is vCenter65, which is my uh, vCenter server for vSphere 6.5. So let's log into vCenter. I'm using vCenter web client to log in. And my vCenter info. So wait for a few seconds here. So here we go, use the Windows session authentication. So now you can see we have uh, we, we have logged into VMware vSphere web client and we have three ASX hosts, ASX1, 2 and 3. Here you can see we have three ASX hosts. 1, 2, 3 and 1 Starwind which is uh, providing the storage for our ESXi host all 3 ESXi hosts and we have one virtual machine here running here you can see uh, if I go and connect here so in this video I am going to take you to the creating virtual machine clone so to create a clone first we need to shut down the machine make sure the virtual machine is shut down to prepare a clone so I'm going to take the clone create a clone in shutdown mode power of, basically a virtual machine in power of a state so wait for few seconds here we go so I'm going to shut down so what I have done if you can see here I have added few features desktop experience and dotnet 3.5 on the server so might be you need some clone need to create a clone after virtual machine installing some changes or something like you are going to change something in production so so basically you can create a clone and you can uh, keep the clone as per your like a uh, master machine so in case of any issue you can river you can use that clone machine to uh, back to the production state so I'm going to cancel this and now if you go right click we have a clone uh, uh, option here you can see we have a clone to virtual machine clone to template and we have a clone to template in library so clone, what what does it mean by clone to virtual machine means we we are going to create a same uh, clone of this virtual machine which which going to mark as a as a virtual machine so might be uh, maybe we can clone this machine to like win 2k12 we can name it like win 2k8 clone something and if I go to click next you can see we have option here to on which ESXi host you want to put it so let's put on ESXi2 so click next now you can see that we have a storage option where we want to put the storage so I'm going to use the uh, 2 and click next now we have an option here customize the operating system customize the virtual machine hardware and power on the virtual machine after creation so let's take both the options so now if I click next we have option to here to like customize the operating system so you can click on add and you can specify the new virtual machine guest operating system everything here so I'm not going to do this so cancel it so let's click next and we have a customize hardware option where we can customize our uh, hardware settings here like if you want to make the RAM 2 gig you can set from here and the clone machine is going to have a 2 gig RAM only so click next and here you can see the source virtual machine is win 2 12 we win 2 8 R2 and we have a win 2 8 clone machine so let's put the correct name here so it's R2 next 
select the ESXi host, select the storage, clone type and hardware customization is done so let's click on finish to, to create a clone so click on finish so now you can see cloning the virtual clone virtual machine is running and now it will take uh, some time because it's going to create a um, 80 gig of virtual machine hard drive which we, uh, which it's going to clone and it's basically going to copy the hard drive and all the virtual machine setting then we have a a clone virtual machine with this name so it will take some time till the time I'm pausing the recording once the clone is complete I will write back and we'll see further options so now you can see the clone is completed and now we can go ahead and power on this machine also so I'm going to power on both the machines and we'll see how it's working so so in in real scenario you have to make sure like if if you have configured a IP address on your clone machine so uh, maybe it can be conflict so uh, so you can disable the NIC if you want to power on and verify the clone machine after creation it's working or not so make sure you you have configured like uh, you, you are doing the setting to avoid the IP conflict in your production so I'm going to connect both the machines here So now we need to take the console of clone machine. So in my case I have not ad added any NIC here or network card here on a virtual machine. So I don't need to do any configuration here. So it's good otherwise uh, I need to make sure like network conflict maybe occur during the changes on, on these things so you can see both the virtual machine is running now and the clone which we have just created and the source virtual machine by using which we have cloned this virtual machine so both are in the same state and you can also verify the application which we have installed like uh, features which we have installed is there in a clone machine so we have successfully created clone and one more thing I want to give a demo here which is if I go to data store and here on LAN2 where we have created the clone virtual machine so you can see we have a two two folder here the first one is Win2K8R2 which is the source virtual machine and we have a second folder which is Win2K8R2 clone which is containing this virtual machine the clone virtual machine which we have created by cloning the virtual source virtual machine so it have all the things like a clone virtual hard drive it's have a configuration and VRAM everything is there so you can see here if I go to virtual machine we have an option here so so there was multiple uh, things why you need a clone and how to create a clone also if you go here can see we have uh, some other option like clone to template we can create a template and everything so so in next video I'm going to give you the demo of this like convert to template and these things so this is all about how to create a virtual machine clone on vSphere 6.5 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye